Man, I cannot get this to freaking work right, man. Oh, man. I thought... Man, I cannot get this to freaking work oh, right, this. man. Now you get to hear me. I'm going to have to go off the phone again. Oh, what's up, guys? Wow. Kyle Norton. Ryan Jacob. Byron Beverly. What's up, my brother? Nathan. Jason Jordan decided to. Yeah, you see that, Ryan Jacob? I'm just trying to get it to work. Philip Bedreau, the oil tanker. 94. My man, 94, is patrolling. Dipping fishing. What's up, bud? David Schneider and Dipping Fishing, two new dudes. You're getting all puffed up. It's a puffed up shirt. I don't want to be a pirate. Hit me with a hammer. It gonna work. Richard Garner, what's up, man? Caesar, we're live, brother. Cristobal Santos, hello. Lawnmower. Nikki Luna. Samuel Ramos. Waiting for the impact to hit home. Well, you know what makes this impact so freaking awesome? Again, it is so tiny if you guys watched my uh video from milwaukee from the nps 2018 you saw the size and the features that this is going to offer again you know even like if you're watching you're seeing me with the key features here they don't even mention what i think is honestly the most shocking and the most, you know, because I'm going to talk about it in a second, but the, the amount of speed that these impact, impact drivers are getting, I mean, it wasn't long ago, guys, and it was honestly probably a year and a half, two years ago, you know, 2,800, you know, we finally broke, you know, the 3,000 IPM number. Maybe it was like two years ago, two and a half. Obviously, the fuel you know, 3,200, and, you know, then we started getting into the 33, 34, 35, then, wow, you know, 38. But 4,300 IPM with this new Gen 3 impact driver. Now, I was calling it Gen 2 only for the fact, because it is really a, a Gen 2 design. Now, the first impact fuel... It looks very similar. It's really not a total redesign. Um, obviously, the specs are changed a little bit, but it's basically the same impact driver with some higher numbers. This is, you know, totally new designed impact driver. Um, really comfortable, really, real nice slim handle. Um, just comfortable, tiny powerful you know 2000 inch pounds you know you're, you're looking at almost 150 foot pounds of torque um and if my math is right i could be off on that let's do the math actually it's over right yeah 2000 inch pounds is what 1200 is a hundred so 2400 yeah it's like one it's like 165 so 165 foot pounds around there again if I'm off by 10, give me a break. Um, 4.59 inches in length. Okay. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. The Gen 2 is 5.1. So, I mean, half an inch small. That's what I was saying from the video. Uh, I said it's probably around a half an inch smaller. Um, yeah, the, the IPM is the big thing. And also, there's this awesome mode. But I don't want to get too far ahead of my britches but what i do want to talk about real quick and what i think is also another great feature to this impact driver check this out dude check this out oh do you see it do you see it math is bad toby what's up david stevenson what's up a capone Joe Shearer, yeah, the self-tapping screw mode. Um, I talked about it a little bit, Joe. 
Um, you know, what's great about it is when you go into sheet metal and stuff like that, um, what's great about it, you know, you're sinking in a fastener. Soon as it's sunk, oh, my phone's blowing up. Um, soon as you sink it, it will it'll stop turning. Okay, the intelligence of this impact driver, you can have that trigger as pulled back as tight as a cork in a wine bottle, and it will not turn that fastener anymore. Um, awesome, awesome feature. Hey, Brian Hume, what's up? Carlos de la Cruz. Fill up, Brian Hume, Texas Carpenter, what's up, man? Yeah, um, I tried getting it in the video i thought it was one of the best features that they went over again it was towards the end um you know to be able to really not have to worry about you know over fastening uh you know especially with like the sheet metal and you know because you can really crimp it and you know really like dent you know what i'm trying to say the the fastener goes in too much just at that nice point, it stops turning. I'm sorry, I got my my. Hey, what's up? Hey, Kenny Snook. Hey, I'm back. What I'd miss, Kenny? You were the star last night, brother. Let's everybody give Kenny a round of applause. Hey, MF Jensen, EL22. What's up, Alexander? Oh, that's awesome. Kenny Snook stole the show, dude. We had so much fun with Kenny Snook. I got to send you a sticker, dude. Ruben, Dan C. Yeah, Philip, but we had a lot of fun with Kenny last night. He was a good sport. I think Carlos de la Cruz was really jumped the gun, and I want to apologize for Carlos's behavior. Exactly, Joe. Uh, great point. Yeah, you know, it's just, you know, you want to get done. You you work quickly. You start working sloppy. And, you know, you know how it is, man. You know, you, you just want to get the stuff done. You, you're sinking these screws and fasteners all day long. So it's a great feature. But, you know, I want to get back to the IPM real quick. Only because, you know, now we're over the 4,000 mark. And... The Ryobi, which is out, um, again, we talk about it a lot. And, you know, a lot of people comment, you know, and this was even before this one came out. They go, why would I buy the DeWalt or the Milwaukee when it only has 1,850 inch pounds when I can get the Ryobi that has 2,200? And again, um, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to, right. There's a lot of things different, you know, obviously one's a DIY and one's a premium brand, but you got to remember that, that impact driver, which I really like, and it, it really is a powerful impact driver. I really like it, but it's an impact driver that if you're sinking fasteners all day, you're a tradesman, um, HVAC stuff like that. Um, it's something you're not going to want to use every day. It is a big, heavy impact driver. Okay. Um, yeah, 4,000. This has more. Don't get me wrong. 4,300. And that's what I'm trying to get at. And, you know, I guarantee you once I get this and I have the Ryobi, this will beat it in every, right, in every different phase of fastening speed, torque, this will beat it. And you got to remember 4.59 inches. Okay. So when you see this impact driver, now you can get the old one, the, the gen one, we'll call it the gen one. And you will see such a size difference, even from the gen one to the Ryobi, the, the brand new Ryobi. And again, I'm not bashing a Ryobi. I really like it. And it has, my point is, you know, people just, you know, they want to compare everything to a literal point when there's a lot of other aspects that go into it. Um, again, we talked about it. 
this has a new uh, power state brushless motor. Uh, it differs from the Gen 1 and Gen 2 models of the impact driver, also with the hammer drills. I'm a little far back on these. I'm sorry. Hey, Rudy Ramirez, what's up? Um, I'm going to get to your question. Hey, what's up, working hands? EJM 187's in the house. Um, but yeah, this, uh, the, like I said, the motor has 30% more copper, uh, than the old one. And it's also smaller. So it's smaller than the previous models and same thing with the hammer drill. So the new drill driver and hammer drill also smaller motor, 30% more copper, but that's what makes it more efficient, more torque, um, just absolutely amazing they had a couple of them open and a lot of people are like why do they have it open the wall is going to steal their technology um but you know that's the point so you're getting just a more comfortable tool when you compare it you know you don't ha have the you know self tap mode you don't have the the comfortability and again obviously this has more ipm and it's just amazing that they can get that kind of IPM out of a tool this size. Because, um, again, uh, I cannot wait to get it, to put it up next to the new 12-volt. I would bet probably my daughter. No, I wouldn't bet my daughter. I would bet that it's smaller. Tool boss, you did not give... I haven't given anyone one, any new people. David Schneider. Oh, notification worked. Auto bed, Dan. Awesome. That's awesome. I, yeah. Well, I was kind of messing around with it a little bit and I did put a little thing out. Working hands, EJM Damone, Marcus Ramirez, Mike Rutan, Trevor Walken. Where the hell have you been? Hey, yo, been a while since I made it. Yeah, man, we missed you, brother. Oh, there's Cupcake. Yeah, we forgot to call him Cupcake. We already lost that one. Yeah, Kenny's back. Kenny's the man. Robert Mackey, what's up, brother? So, yeah, man, it's really... Oh, Demon's Wifey, what's up? She's in the house, baby. Oh, I'll get you on Redemption. I haven't seen you in here, man, in a while. Jerry Hoskins. RDLC321 and the family in Fresno. Carlos De La Cruz, I believe, is from the Miami, Florida area. I think all you guys should get your wives on this live stream. I mean, let's bring them in. Get them out here. Make a nice hot cup, a nice hot pot of coffee. Yeah, it's been a while. No, I mean, our redemption's been on. And redemption, I, I think... What's up, David? Redemption used to be on a lot of the live stuff um, back in the day. Actually, he's a really cool dude. I remember everything, and I know he 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 gave me uh, a little donation once. So he's a cool dude. You know, listen, I wish I could give one to everyone, and I probably could. I just got to go and do it. Junior SoCal, what's up, man? J.R. SoCal, Dan C. All right, let me... Hey, four wood. I think there's a new M12 driver hammer drill coming soon. Wonder why they're pushing the. Yeah, I don't think there's one coming soon. MB four wood. Um, you know this one just came out. You know three four months ago. I don't know. It's a good point. You know what it is? My honest opinion, and that's actually a good question that they're promoting it because I actually said the same thing. Uh, I've been running these deals on on the channel a lot like whoa i mean you guys must be pissed and a lot of people were pissed a lot of people bought the kit when it first came out for 229 they spent 229 bucks you know i would have never thought within two months 60 days that not only would it be 30 dollars cheaper but they'd give you a free six amp hour battery so very weird my honest opinion is you know, they just ran these Christmas deals. You know, I think sometimes Milwaukee and I think it, it 
I don't think sometimes I really think it was just that one deal. They did a real amazing Christmas deal this year. Um, one of their hottest new items was the pack out. We all know it. We all talk about it. It's still, I mean, out of all those videos I did from MPS 18, you know, I did what? Probably 15 live videos. Number one is the pack out. So there's just such people love because, you know, it's really not only the tool people, you know, there's people who, again, who are, you know, they do so many different trades beyond, you know, your normal carpenter, electrician, plumber, HVAC uh, contractor, you know, they use them for all different kinds of stuff. Um, so, but anyway, you know, they did a deal with the, the new pack out with a two amp hour battery and either the hammer drill or, oh, wow, 187. You didn't have to do that, brother. Thank you very much, man. Cool dude. That 187, man. I don't know what happened. But we look. Oh, Redemption RV. Thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Come on, man. I wasn't looking for anything like that. I mean, 187, at, you're at the point. I almost got to send you a shirt, you know? I'd rather give you guys something than just, you know, give it give it away. But, um, yeah, so I, I think a lot of people during Christmas, um, I appreciate that again, RVA and 187 ICU Redemption RVA. I don't know. What should I call you, Art Revent? Do you like that, Redemption RVA? No, you didn't have to do that, bro. Um, anyway. Yeah, so I think uh, a lot of people bought those kits, man. You know, I did two giveaways. I gave away um, one on Instagram and one on um, YouTube. Um, I thought it was a killer deal. $99. You got the brushless impact or hammer drill with a two amp hour battery charger and the pack out. Whoa, David, come on. David, that's not. David, honestly, send me your address on Instagram. I'll send you out something, bro. Dead serious. Um, so I'm like getting flustered here with all these uh, great people tonight. Wow. Um, so I think it's more one of those deals. I, I think not that it's not popular, not that a lot of people, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's a bad tool or sales are bad. I think. You know, they thought, you know, for 99 bucks that they would still get those people who bought that, you know, pack out combo kit with the uh, charger. I appreciate that, David Schneider. That is absolutely not necessary, but I greatly appreciate it, bro. And I'm dead serious. Hit me up on Instagram if you could. Not on YouTube because I don't. I still probably don't know how to get these. And I don't want you to put your address out. Private message me, man. Um, but so I think they thought that they were going to buy them. Make a long story short. I'm on this subject here. I'm trying to read comments too. Logan P, what's up? <laughs> That's Mike Rattan. I know. I had a craziest call. I thought you could just hang up. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But, yeah, so, and I think, you know, they really produce these. And when they start to get a high amount of inventory and they can't move them, you're going to see deals. And they, why they wouldn't wait. But you know what? You got to think about it, guys. As much as that pissed you off that you bought it for $229, okay? $229 you paid. And 60 days later, it was $199 with a six amp hour battery for free. But you got to look at it this way. All right. It was 60 days later. It sucked. But imagine if they did it 91 days later when you couldn't return it. At least they did it where, hey, all right, just bring your receipt. You're going to get the six amp hour. We'll take $30 off. Worst case scenario, you got to return the whole thing and buy it again or whatever. But I think that was actually a great thing that they did for you guys. Now, again. It sucks, but imagine if they would have done it 91 days later when you had to eat not only the 30 bucks, 
which you can live with. You know, it is what it is. It sucks. But that free six amp hour battery, that's the killer. Edge every day. What's up, buddy? Wow, a lot of people in here tonight. I wish I had. See, last night we had great. We had Kenny. We were busting around with Kenny. What's up, Adam Gonzalez? I try to get everyone's name, man. If I miss you, just, uh, you know, Jason Jordan. Uh, you've been busy, my man in Maine. Yeah, it's going, man. Uh, every year gets harder, worse and worse. It's always something. Now I got to go to New York State on Thursday and pick up. It's like an hour and a half away. I got to pick up two mowers, that Bobcat. I was supposed to go today. Um, couldn't make it happen. So now it's happening on Thursday. Penguins lost last night. I'm sick. Oh, uh, we're all, we watched it. Working hands. You missed a lot of action last night. Not only Kenny Snook, who rocks, but we were doing play by play to Penguins. Gregory Rizzuto, what's up, man? I think Gregory Rizzuto, you're big on Instagram. I think I talked to you on air. Aaron Reaper, what's up? So, anyway, you got to look at it that way. But let's get back and talk about the brand new milwaukee 2853 now this is going to come in two uh kits also it's going to come in the 2853-22 um going to come with two uh five amp hour batteries you know this is you hear me talk about it a lot guys and I, not and you always hear me say 90 percent of the time never buy bare tool i think in this case this is a great tool to buy bare tool it's $129. It's not a killer. If you have batteries, you know, the thing is now, people, this whole Milwaukee influx of the popularity of this brand the last three or four years, I mean, people's, I mean, I, I know EJM, even 94 GT, and I know working hands, but most of you guys, you know, you're watching this because of your big Milwaukee guys, but you probably have like four, five, six batteries now. Um, even though it's good to always have some extra ones, um, you know, if this kit is, I'm thinking now, I'm it's we should check. I didn't see this as a kit though on on this website. Um, I would probably say with the two fives, you're looking at. I don't know. What do you think? Two forty nine. I don't. I it might even be two ninety nine. I think actually it's going to be two ninety nine. I think this one's going to be two forty nine for the two two amp hour batteries. All right, two forty nine, and I think with the fives it's going to be two ninety nine. So if you have the batteries, you can really kind of save a lot of money with this uh, buck twenty nine. And you got to remember Acme Tools. Sometimes they have. You know, these 10% offs, 50, you know, um, Memorial Day is coming off. I guarantee you they'll be doing some kind of 15% off everything, anything you want, Memorial Day. So this might be something, I don't want to say what's 100%, I don't know. But usually, you know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, they run some type of promo and stuff like that. PC Pro off, there you are, I've been missing you, man. Yeah, Ruben Kari, that's what I, I personally think. Uh, 129, bare tool, we know that. Uh, 249, probably for the 2-amp-hour battery. And this 5-amp-hour battery, let me hit where to buy, and maybe they'll have this price. Tool nut, Acme Tools. Let's look at Acme Tools. I'm not going to say anything about those other two. Oh, they do have it. All right, yeah, wow. Right on the money, man. I tell you, I should have a crystal ball. I'm a genie. Oh, little genie. You got so much love. Little genie. You freaking genie. Come on. You're such a piece of shit. Such a piece of shit, genie. And I want you to be my acrobat. I want you to be my lover. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, so 249, I would think, the 2-amp-hour battery. Let me check that out. 
Oh, tall guy Ty is in the house. That was, um, oh, I just freaking X'd out of the Milwaukee site. Son of a bitch. You start singing Elton John and everything just goes down. Freaking hell, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I want you to be my acrobat. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I got it. Yeah. Uh, list five. Yeah. Don't listen to that junk. Acme. And, you know, they still think people are stupid that they're going to fall for that. That's a good point. Somebody saw that. Where is that? Yeah. List 556. Come on. And you know what's real funny? Whoever wrote that. Where's the bear tool? I think here's 224 they got for the listed for the, the, come on. You think we're dumb, you little bear? Look at this bear. You think we're dumb? List price, 224. Um, a talking bear. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, let's take a look at the two amp hour. I would think it's 249. You know, they don't change prices. That's the cool thing about uh, Milwaukee. You know, the only reason I guess that is that's what the past model cost. So, you know, oh, 220. I was wrong. See, now this might be something to get. You know, I would probably. I don't know. See, the bear tool one for an extra hundred bucks, you gotta remember, you're not getting a rapid charger. But again, you probably have a lot of these chargers already. I don't know. And you do get oh wait, do you get a two and a five for two twenty nine? Oh wait, something ain't right here. You get a two and a five? I mean if that's the case, then you gotta do it. I'm sorry. Let me look at these um, specs here, man. Uh, let's see what we got here. You get a two and a, and a five. I've never seen a kit like that that they've done. And sometimes you got to be real sketchy with Acme tools. They, they put some weird stuff up here. Um... Three-year warranty on the battery. We know that. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, Ruben Kari, thank you, man. Oh, beautiful concert. I'm I'm surprised anyone's still here. I'm gonna get a lot of thumbs down, man. Tool guy, Ty. My son Hudson is flipping out at the T. Oh, he's probably throwing up listening to me sing. Hey, William Patrick Customs. Oh, my man. Guys, William Patrick Customs. I'm sure a lot of you guys know him, man. Now, this dude is who I hung out with at the Milwaukee NPS 18. Hey, Daniel Rodriguez, what's up? He, you probably know him from his podcast. He has a real great podcast, awesome podcast, really great stuff on Instagram. Um, we got to hang out. We actually, uh, he, we sat behind, I sat he sat behind me on the bus to the event, and across from us was, um, you know, the Jurgensen, Brock, the big boy, and uh, we were just yapping and bulls crapping. What a cool dude! Great guy! Wow, that's awesome. I mean, it's crazy. I have William Patrick Customs in here. I had Dan from Tools in Action. It's you make you really meet so many. Oh, no hitter in the ninth inning. Yeah, me and William Patrick, we were talking baseball a lot too. We were going, we went past Miller Park. We were just talking about everything. And it wasn't even a lot of tool stuff. But guys, check out his Instagram, William Patrick Customs. Beautiful. He's a full time uh, woodworker. Um, you know, all custom, you know, tables and 
just all great. Kyle Norton, if you're, are you following him on Instagram? Great. Yeah, just awesome stuff, man. And a really great podcast. That's, you know, we were talking for like 45 minutes, and I just thought it was just some dude sitting behind me. And then we were talking on break uh, from the event, and all of a sudden I was looking at his shirt, and I'm like, William Patrick Customs. I'm like, dude, do you have a podcast? And we started, I'm like, oh, my God, dude, I used to listen to you. Yeah, he was really had a, you know, he still has a great podcast, but I haven't listened to him in you know a couple months but like two years ago man he was really kicking out the great stuff and feel free um to tell us you know how to watch your podcast and stuff like that but that's awesome man i appreciate you coming in brother he's my hero kyle norton said yeah amazing woodworker yeah dude so yeah, so uh, this is weird, man. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a misprint. What do you guys think? Uh, I've never seen anything like this. Um, a, f a five and a two. I mean, I've seen kits with a five and a two. Don't get me wrong, but I've never seen it with the impact driver. But let me see what Home Depot... Uh, Maybe Home Depot will have a little picture. It probably is. It might be something kind of new. I don't know. No, I was right. See, that's how Acme... And, you know, the sad part is, dude, someone's going to buy that, and they're going to be expecting a 5-amp hour and a 2-amp hour battery. And I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know how how hard it is to post a picture the right way. And it's not only Acme Tools, a lot of them kind of... CPO is absolutely the worst. CPO, the worst. I mean, I'm going to give Acme Tools the benefit of the doubt. But hopefully they'll uh, fix this. Because, you know, you see this, 229. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. I'm going to get the... Uh, I'm going to go for this kit. Really? Uh, I don't really don't need any more batteries. No, but check it out, man. You get the... The five and the two. What do you mean? Yeah, check this kid out. Now, hey, listen. I could be making a total fool of myself. And Acme Tools might actually send you a five and a two. And I apologize. I was wrong. But I've never seen this. So I would really maybe call first. They might be right. And I might be the a-hole. But... Um, I would really check into that, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Because 2853222CT, I'm circling it with my cursor. Okay. 285322. 285322. Two, two. I don't know, man. I think you might be uh, getting uh, the bamboozle there. Oh, yeah. Someone just talked about rigid. So check this out, guys. I don't mean to skip over. Have any of you guys, we've talked about it, and no one, for two years, we've been talking about rigid tools. You know, I, I like them and, you know, how popular they've gotten. But no one has used their lifetime warranty. Like, no one that is on here. No one's commented, yeah, I used it. And it's weird, right? I mean that. I mean that's a great sign that no one's has has had to have used their lifetime warranty. But I got a comment today from a person. Now I don't know. I told him to come on the live stream tonight and kind of talk about his experience. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I want to get back to the impact driver. But um, oh sorry. Uh, so this dude bought whatever he bought a uh, some kind of. Com uh, combo kit so everything came with the um it came with the lifetime warranty so he had it for like six seven months and he needs it you know it's a you know he's a, a tradesman i believe of some sort i think he works in apartments so i don't know what is that a uh not a janitor he's like a uh a super you know like mr miyagi 
from the Karate Kid. He kind of fixes the apartments. You know, the the water goes bad. Miyagi, Miyagi here, yeah. Miyagi there. Yeah. Has anyone checked the new um, Cobra Kai? Guys, the Karate Kid is back on YouTube. I watched the first episode with my son. It was absolutely great. You guys remember Joey Lawrence from Karate Kid? The one who lost at the end, the first one there? He's like a drug addict now. He's eating like fast food. Yeah, and he's coming back, man. He wants a piece of Ralph Macchio. You got to watch it. All right, but anyway. Yeah, it's called Cobra Kai. Yeah, the two first two. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, 94 GT, you watched it? Oh, was it good or what? John HVAC, what's up, buddy? It's awesome, right, Rube? I was blown away. I got through, I, I don't know, but I'm, I don't think I would ever vote or ever not root for Ralph Macchio. What was Daniel LaRusso? I'm actually rooting for William Zapka. I feel bad for this Joey Lawrence, man. You know, like Ralph Macchio now owns a big car dealership. He's a multi-millionaire. William Zabka's down on his luck. I'm going for William Zabka. Yeah, and he looks good, man. I looked up his age. I'm like, these guys got to be pretty old. And Ralph Macchio looks pretty good for his age, too. But that, that guy's like 56 years old. He's got blonde hair still, man. Oh, he's a cutie. He's a cupcake, like EJM. All right, what was I talking about, man? Like, we get off subject here. Monkey Brains, what's up? Oh, I always rooted for Johnny. Give him a body bag. Yeah, yeah, right, John HVAC? I think they're going to have a real winner on their hands with this show. Oh, is it awesome. And you know what sucks? Now I'm going to have to buy this YouTube Red, whatever the hell it's called, because my son likes it. Actually, my wife, was, and she wanted to watch it. She's like, they're going to get us, man. All right, cool working hands. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, I don't know what I was. Oh, all right. So the guy um, sweeped the leg. I wonder if they're going to go back to um, golf and stuff. And we spend the night. Come oh, on, baby. Hold me tight. How great was that music, man? It's a cruel, cruel, cruel. And he's still rocking with like the, the I rock. Uh, like the the Firebird. Ah, it's a great. Oh, it's gonna be a winner. I wonder if the other guys are gonna come in it. You know, um, Dutch and Bobby, Bobby Brown, and uh, you know, uh, there. I'd love to see Elizabeth Shue. She still looks good too. Elizabeth Shue. Oh, I loved her. Ever see Leaving Las Vegas? with Nicolas Cage. We're getting really off the topic here. Ohio Power Tool has the Yeah, I don't I don't we don't we don't talk about Ohio Power Tool here. Tool guy tie. Get lost with that. Um Oh, cool. All right. So, yeah, I was talk right, Donnie's talking about it. All right. So, this is what so he bought the combo kit. He was a super. I don't know how the super became into Cobra Kai. But that's what happens here on Toolboss sometimes. And I apologize. But Adventures in Babysitting, good one. Do you have to pay to watch? Co yeah. Well, what they do, Demon's Wifey, is they give you the two. It's it's like this Fortnite. You know, Fortnite is free. And my son has probably spent $150. Well, he hasn't spent. He's 10 years old. But I've spent $150 on him buying skins and, and guns. So... What they do, and I think this is the future of video games, this Fortnite now, which is not good. But getting back to Cobra Kai real quick, because we got to get back to the, we got to get back to this, man. This is like a podcast. I'm going to start calling these like podcasts, because these are more podcasts, visual podcasts, what we're doing. Um, what was I talking? Oh, yeah. So. They give you the first two episodes. It's like heroin, man. They give you the first two hits for free. And you want your fix? You got to buy YouTube Red, baby. So, yeah. And I think it's pretty, like, we were, I, it's not as good as Play, we use PlayStation View. And actually, they got rid of MTV, so I can't watch Jersey Shore anymore. 
So Dish Network, it's part of their package. But I think YouTube has it, but it's a little bit more. But now we watch Cobra Kai, so we might be switching. I don't know what's going on. But that's a, a, that's a long story, long story. Not a, to make a long story short. It's a long story long. Okay. The Tool Boss Experience. Yes. I'll wait for Generation 3. M Tweet comes up. Yeah, the I they're good. The the new M12 uh, impact and hammer drill. I like the hammer drill better than the impact driver. Personally, I do like the power. You def it's it's definitely noticeable the power, and it is smaller. I don't know. I just don't feel the comfortability of the Gen Two as I do with the Gen One. Sorry. Jersey Shore, you got... Oh, come on. That's a classic, dude. Everything happens. Yeah, that's right, Ruben. Um, oh, the fire stick is broken. All right, so let me get back to this. So this dude wrote, and he actually said the same thing. Do you know anyone who has ever used the rigid LSA? So to make a long story short, he said, listen, I used the LSA. Now, I don't, and I want you guys to tell me, I don't know. So that's why I'm kind of bringing it up. And I, again, I got like 17. I got to shut this off at 10 o'clock because I can't shut them off. So I, I'm kind of scheduling an end time now. So I know it'll shut off. Uh, EJM was texting me for like 10 minutes after the last live stream. Like, dude, you know, you're still on, right? I'm like, what? I just shut it off. I had to shut my whole computer down and it was still wouldn't shut off. I don't know how to do it. I still want you guys up on the screen here. So I need someone to help me with that. But so anyway, he had a broken impact driver or a drill or some tool. Obviously, it was under the LSA. In order for him to get it fixed, he had to pay, he said, $150 for shipping. So I'm guessing maybe it was a 300 pound refrigerator that they make. I don't know. I'm not really stressing the price of the shipping now. He said, I think it was under this post. Look under my post that I was saying I was going live tonight. If someone wants to go check it. But he said he had to pay $150 for shipping. And it was like six weeks, six or eight weeks to get his tool back. And he's like, you know, what do I do in the meantime? You know, what do I tell my boss? What do I tell, you know, but. What I want to know, honestly, you have to pay to ship your busted tool to Rigid. Because I know Milwaukee, they send you a slip. Um, if you can't bring it to one of their service places, I, I know Bosch is like this too. Bosch, again, great customer service. Probably one of the best. Um, I don't know if 94 GT has ever used Bosch's, but they send you a, a slip. You can print it out in your email. They'll send it to you. Everything's paid. Throw it in a box. They'll take a look at it. They send it back to you. Um, but I've never heard of that. Because, you know, with Ryobi, which is great, you just go to Home Depot. And, you know, they take it there. You got to fill out some stuff. You know, I had issues with my cork gun. Um, but I've never heard of that. So it, he said he searched through my comments, I believe, or he... I don't know if he said that. That might have been a different guy. But um, I, I've had it in the past of people asking me, hey, what's going on with this rigid LSA? I'm like, I've never used it, man. Um, and no one really has ever commented that they used it. So if anyone has used it, I would love to know if they make you pay to ship the tool. Because that's something that I'm telling you pisses me off. And that LSA is as good as nothing if you got to pay to ship your busted tool. And that's what he kind of said. He's like, the LSA is pretty much worthless. All right. But we spent enough time yapping here about that. So anyway, like I said, great. It's got four speeds, just like the uh, older model. Uh, you know, the self-tapping um, mode with speed one, two, and three. So you got the Power State brushless motor that delivers up to 30% faster driving speed. Now, that's because of that crazy IPM, uh, the most on the market, the most I've seen. The biggest I've ever seen 
is on the Ryobi at 4,000, but it's a huge, heavy impact driver. I really do like it. I'm not busting his chops at all. And for 99 bucks, you know, it's not bad. But for another 30 bucks, you can get the Milwaukee, man. You think about it. Now, I'm sure, obviously, I mean, I got that combo kit for 139 bucks. The impact driver, hammer drill, and circular saw with a 4 and a 1.3. So that $99 price you should never pay that for that Ryobi. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's th the main thing is to get that 4,300 IPM. I mean, people have asked me about this compared to the Surge. It's very, very, it's almost like the Surge body. Um, I, I guarantee you when I put them up next to each other, they're going to be pretty much, this might be a little bit smaller than the Surge. And I honestly think now, with this 4,300 IPM, I think you're going to be really close to the speed of that surge. Um, so, and this makes, you know, everybody loves the surge who, who has it. It really has a cult following. You know, a lot of people were hoping that there was going to be a 12, an M12 fuel surge. Uh, it didn't happen. There was a lot of buzz about it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really late. I'm really falling behind. Hey, Daniel Julian, what's up? Renaissance man, what's up? 187, I was on. I'm just falling behind, guys. I love you all. And thank you uh, again, um, David Schneider, Ruben Kari, all you guys. I appreciate it so much, man. Is Ryobi TTI Joe? Yes, they are, uh, Joe Shearer, TTI. They also make m most of the rigid power tool lineup tti all you had to do was text me 187 i see you and say hey i'm not showing up instead you had ejm do your dirty work and he talked very nicely about you by the way wife watching little people big world i can't believe that show is still on the air i used to watch that man and i stopped i figured you know i watched it for like four years and it was pretty good. It was I had a good run. And I'm like, eh. Then three years later, I saw him. I'm like, are they still making new episodes? This show's been out for like 15 years, man. My Makita Impact is 3,800 IPM. That's what I'm saying, man. And think how awesome that Makita. I know what impact you're talking about. Uh, the uh, three-speed uh, Makita. I forget the number of it. And that thing is lightning quick. Super compact. Honestly, probably until this one might even be the most compact 18 volt um, impact driver out there. But now this one is out. It's real close. Four speed. Yeah, you know what I meant. And it has that uh, same thing. It has the uh, self tap mode, the auto mode, right? What's it called? Um, yeah, Richard. Yep, it gets addicting. Does it burn? TTI makes me have to pee. Well, hey, a good penicillin. Penicillin has really, really. Yeah, EGM is on fire. He sent me that awesome socket set. I did a video for him. But anyway, so you're getting 30% faster driving speed again. That's from the updated IPM numbers. How they have done it in an impact driver this size is just mind boggling. But they did it, and it's possible to do. Uh, 20. Uh, twenty-five percent more torque with up to two thousand inch pounds. I don't know how they're getting that twenty-five percent more torque. I believe the last generation, the last model that they made, had eighteen twenty-five. So I don't know if my math is right, but again, we'll say up to twenty-five percent more torque. Uh, four mode drive control provides greater control over output of speed and power. Single handed bit insertion for faster, easier changing of bits. Everyone took DeWalt's lead on that with the single handed bit insertion. Uh, premium rubber overmolds, awesome, withstands corrosive materials and provides increased comfort when in use. Let's get a nice look. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's dance. Blow up, baby. Blow up.
You son of a gun. Won't do it for me, man. Oh, it goes well with the uh, high output six. I don't think you need this battery, guys, for this impact driver. Personally. Now, listen, you have one. You start building them up over a couple years. It, it's, you're going to definitely get some greater runtime. And you might get a little extra torque and stuff. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, again, you know, they've done so much to make this impact driver smaller, more compact, more comfortable. Do you really want to slap a 6-amp-hour battery on it? You know, some people argue with me over it. I just don't, you know... This is beautiful here with a nice 2-amp-hour battery, nice and light and smooth and yummy for your tummy. Most compact impact driver at 4.59 inches in length, providing more access in tight spaces. Self-tapping screw mode provides faster installation time by reducing the stripping of fasteners. Belt clip, bit holder included, LED light. Two thousand inch pounds of torque, thirty six hundred RPM. GT World just got the high torque two five two. Renaissance man, those new um, aren't they sweet? Renaissance man, that is sick. Hey, Yokozalo, M eighteen Surge is five. Okay, so it is a little bit smaller. Actually, it's kind of, you know, almost half an inch. Yeah, this thing is so... Guys, you heard me just yelling. I was yelling at Milwaukee, man. And no one asked about IPM. I'm like, how much? The guy didn't even know. He had to go ask, like, his boss. He came back. I'm like, what? You know, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it wasn't for that table saw and chainsaw, this would probably be the most talked about new tool that Milwaukee's come out with. Now, yeah, is it really amazing? But you got to remember, this is a tool. The impact driver is pretty much the most popular tool in the world. Um, they're the best-selling, most used, and this thing was just... And I like impact drivers, you know. It's awesome. Five-year warranty, uh, four-mode, 4,300 IPM. We talked about it. It's a real home run. When you get it, you're going to see it. It's going to be in stores in July. Okay, we went over the price point. Um, hopefully, I'll get one. They, they're they saying June I should have one. And I'm excited. But when you guys actually see this thing live uh, in the store, or if you order it and you, and you get it sent to you or whatever, um stop stripping i love impacts too have a free um they're the best man i need what richards raymond sims just had my hands on it on it at my oh cool all right raymond sims oh he you work over there okay cool yeah we stayed raymond we last year i stayed at the aloft which was another gorgeous hotel just I guys, I can't say enough about how awesome Milwaukee is as a city. <clears throat> People aren't, you know, they're not as nice as Pitts. Pittsburgh is a real special place. Uh, Milwaukee is too. Don't get me wrong, but um, okay, yeah. So I stayed at the Aloft right across the street from the new Bucks Arena, and I know Milwaukee is the main contractor you know there's signs this is milwaukee so you you had your hands raymond tell us about it man what do you think the th i i pick like four i pick you know uh the recip table saw chainsaw and the impact driver yep the loft's a block away yep it was an awesome hotel right on the water Last time, if this shuts off in four minutes, I don't think it's gonna. Toolboys are coming out of the chain of this collection. Oh, yeah, that's 93.2. I was expecting more, actually. Um, that's like the big thing now is getting, you know, these new 
the 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 new standard the the new rules with uh you know the dust and the uh right yeah it's all wayne musgrove oh what's up man what's up it's my first time watching your show you guys are the coolest i'm also talking about vcg also tools and yeah all great guys oh cool wayne i'm glad it's your first time william patrick yeah new jigsaws uh william would love that obviously he's a woodworker um yeah i've been hearing a lot of great things you know that's one of the tools that people have been begging for um is a jigsaw you know i love their 12 volt jigsaw i don't know if william patrick if you've ever used their 12 volt and i'll tell you bosch makes a killer 12 volt jigsaw absolute i mean i cannot believe what i can get through with a 12 volt yeah it's it's awesome hey shaka gillis what's up man manny moto what's up brother wow i had 116 people on a one wow you guys are the best man oh this i didn't wow i appreciate all you guys coming on here tonight polly and drew what's up man DeWalt and Milwaukee need to make a cordless router. Yes. You know, Ryobi has one. Rigid has one. Makita has one. I Didn't Bosch just come out with one? Was really... You know what, William Patrick? That was another one. The track saw. Makita's really the only company. Uh, obviously, DeWalt. I think DeWalt has one, right? A flex vault. But Makita has had one out for a long time and that is a beautiful saw a beautiful saw uh that makita you know the thing with makita is and i think bosch to that you know milwaukee and dewalt are big time companies they make a lot of a lot of tools a lot of different tools you know they try to hit every trade you know makita and bosch you know they're really i think they really try to promote and they really try to go after you know because a lot of the milwaukee uh and dewalt products too they know like a lot of diy guys use them a lot of homeowners you know they know uh makita and bosch know that people aren't going to spend well a lot of homeowners are not going to spend that kind of money on a makita or a bosch that's my opinion personally but yeah, Trim Router would be good. Hercules beats the wall and Bauer beats Milwaukee. He goes, Shaka Gillis, he's great. Does this channel get a lot of trolls? I haven't seen you know, these many. No, man, I don't really get too many. You know, I get a lot of private, um, not private, no, I don't ever, they never write, but, you know, you get the thumbs down people there. But, well, I got the crazy moderators. I mean, I got 94 GT moderating and shaka gillis and carlos i mean carlos put pretty much one of my best friends kenny snook on a third three minute i think it was like a three minute man are you guys still on i hope i'm wiggling my screen here because i thought it was going to shut off at 10. oh man it might be off can you guys still hear me oh it's wiggling it doesn't i can't even shut it off when i program it to shut off i tell you this thing is a disaster someone has to i gotta fix this man see i hate doing this i want you guys on the side here i'm a, i gotta go on my phone to read your comments man it's not right well i gotta get william patrick to set up a podcast or something but I think YouTube is a great place to do a podcast, kind of like Joe Rogan style, you know? Wayne Musgrove. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Wayne. Hey, man, we're a big family here. Um, we have fun, but we're respectable to everybody. Uh, that's why, you know, we're all just a big group of friends talking about tools. Um, we have fun. We joke. But it's a very respectable, friendly 
So what's your thoughts on gasless mowers? You know, someone asked me last night uh, about that, William Patrick. And my first, I'm still like a little iffy on him. I don't know, you know, commercially, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of like, you know what? And there's such a, so I get so many comments on the the, uh, the new DeWalt. So the DeWalt was going to be, all right, let's really have some fun here. Let's take, and I told DeWalt, send me either one. If you can send me the 40 volt, I mean, that would be good. But I just think the 20 volt would kind of, he's like, eh, whatever. Because uh, I just I just don't think that a lot of you guys want to see the 40 volt. Because you kind of have to go into a whole new platform. But I said, listen, if that's what you can get me, get me the 40 volt. And she's going to work on it. The wall, again, huge company. And uh, this girl is very busy um, who kind of runs their thing. But anyway, this the, the DeWalt was going to be the first mower, uh, you know, lithium ion mower that, hey, let's let's take this thing out and see what we can do commercially. You know, I got a lot of batteries. You know, I've heard, again, it's all through the grapevine. No one really has it yet. Some dude has it. He did a video on YouTube, and it's so bad. Um, you can't really get anything out of it. I don't know. It's a shame because he obviously got it from them. You figured it'd be a pretty good detailed review, but it's like him lifting and the handle up and now nah, it was weird. Um, but anyway, so it was going to be the first mower that I, I really wanted to beat up a little bit commercially, put it through the ringer, you know, do, you know, five lawns a day with it and see how it would hold up. But like I said, I heard, you know, with two five amp hour batteries, and this is what I heard. I, I talked about it last night. I know I'm taking a long time, but if you're going to watch, hey, David Schneider, Donnie Sander, what's up, buddy? Um, if you're going to watch me, William, I kind of rattle a lot, but I'm sorry. But I heard it has really great build quality, both of them, the 20 volt and the 40 volt. Heard they're made really well, really well constructed, you know, really solid. Um, I heard the cut is actually very good. Um, but I heard with two five amp hour batteries, people are getting like 15 minutes of runtime. Now, I was telling people in the big scheme of things, 15 minutes, you know, it's the same thing with the blower. They hear, oh, 20 minutes of runtime. I mean, 20 minutes of straight runtime is a lot. I mean, you know, again, there's a lot of batteries. You, you, you should have more than one battery now if you're in a Milwaukee platform. That's what makes the 18 volt platform, how they stuck with not changing batteries. I mean, God, you might have one five amp hour, two two amp hour batteries from some combo kit and a four. And I mean, you can run this blower for over an hour. Um, but anyway, so anyway, 15 minutes, a lot of people, and th that is, what I'm trying to say is there's other mowers out there that get a lot more runtime than that. But I ha I've, I've been waiting for this mower. Um, my, um, William, Patrick, been waiting, been waiting. Ego contacted me. They're going to send me their mower. So uh, I guess I'm going to be rolling with this ego. They're going to send me their uh, self-propelled 56 volt. Um, you know, now I got four batteries by them. So we're going to really, and that is really the most power. It's the most, not only the most powerful, it's got the best runtime and it's really the most popular cordless mower on the market. So I'm actually happy that I'm going to be doing this with the ego and, you know, for outdoor powers that they, they are the leaders. Um, you know, like I said, no one touches them with their blowers. I tell people all the time, like, listen, what are you, what are you looking for? You want convenience or you want power? I want, you know, of course, everything comes down to power. So, oh, I want the most powerful. Then don't even look at any of these tool brand blowers. Don't look at the DeWalt. Don't look at the Makita. Don't look at the Milwaukee. They don't come anywhere near the Ego blowers. And there's like three blowers that they have. They come out with a new blower like every six months. And all of them are just not only powerful, but have great runtime, comfortable to use. Um, but yeah, to make a long story short, that's pretty much it. So we're going to see what happens with the ego.
Bloody sales make me have four platforms. I know. But you really do, man, these days. I mean, if you're into tools, you know, as much as we're talking about Milwaukee now or DeWalt or Bosch or Makita, you know, Makita makes stuff that's better than Bosch. DeWalt makes stuff that's better than Milwaukee. Milwaukee makes stuff that's better than Makita. So, you know, you have to. And if you're doing it and if you're watching, you know, you're into tools. So you, you want to try these different, t you know, tool brand stuff. So, and I go, and again, you know, it used to be a big deal because of these batteries, but now batteries not only have, you know, lithium ion cells come down almost like 80% over the past like three years, but they're giving them away. I mean, you can, you know, you buy a couple combo kits, you got six, seven batteries, you know? But, um, all right, yeah, so we, we always kind of go off uh, topic here. But, guys, this thing is going to be, I think, a big hit for Milwaukee. Again, if it wasn't for them getting into these new tools, the chainsaw, the table saw, I think this would probably be one of the most talked about new tools. Um, 94 GT, this was, you know, I kind of was thinking, what should I do? I was going to save this for last because, you know, I love impact drivers, but. We did it tonight. Uh, again, great price. One twenty nine bare tool. Two twenty nine for two two amp hour batteries. Two ninety nine, you get two fives. Again, I wouldn't go for that two ninety nine deal. Just to get two fives, you're paying another hundred and eighty bucks. You can probably buy two fives for less than that. It doesn't really make sense. Again, I talk about it a lot. Always buy combo kits. Ninety percent of the time, this is that ten percent where you would buy bear tool i would recommend but i'm out of here guys i had a great time and thank daniel julian what's up um i'm glad i went over an hour a little bit and i want to thank everyone for coming in this probably was my biggest live stream almost ever man i want to thank david schneider all the people who donated uh ruben kari redemption rva is back 187 icu is back back from the dead and they come in and honda 97's here brad s what's up yeah listen didn't want to have to don't change your platform bro i don't know what tool you're talking about that would make you change are you looking what are you looking for what tool brad i, I must have missed your comment oh if milwaukee didn't release a chainsaw this year i was gonna go oh, okay yeah i mean it's getting to the point where you know, you can almost stick with one brand. You know, we talked about it. I mean, I was thinking about getting the M12 tool combo. Just, yeah, that's Steve U. I've done it, man. I've done it. I bought that $99 brush that I ended up giving it away in a, in a, um, in a, a giveaway. But they had the M12 brushed impact driver and drill driver for $99 and you got two 1.5 amp hour batteries and a free six for 99 bucks. I'm figuring, well, if I buy a six, it's going to cost me 79 bucks. Okay. So for $21, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get two batteries. Okay. So for 21 bucks, I'm getting two 1.5 amp hour batteries, which that's pretty good, man. Wait, and an impact driver? Wait, and a drill driver? And a bag? And a charger? So sometimes you got to do it. Hey, OJ Atkinson, what's up, man? Forrest Wheeler, what's up, bud? Juan Rivera, boss, help me out between the mid-torque impact wrench from Milwaukee and DeWalt. Which one would you go for? What are you looking for, Juan? It's, you know, honestly, man, you know, if you're just a DIY guy, man, I love that Rigid. I think it's the best tool Rigid makes, man. And for $149, you get the Impact and a 4-amp-hour battery and a charger, $149. If, you know, you really want, or if you're in the Milwaukee or DeWalkey, uh, Milwaukee or DeWalt platforms and you're in a trade and you kind of want a really well-made tool, like I've been telling people, man, 
if you're going to be under that 400 foot pound area where you're not really going to go over that, or if you do very rarely and you don't have a high torque or let's put it this way. And you do have a high torque uh, impact wrench, whether from, you know, DeWalt, Makita, Ingersoll, Rand, um, you know, Milwaukee, I'd probably go with the DeWalt. Now, that being said, the more versatile and it's the same price, the better buy probably is the Milwaukee. Uh, again, more versatile, you know, you, you can go way up to 600. But, you know, I did a lot of tests, man. And it's not only the test you saw. And a lot of people, I think 94 GT, I think it was him. I could be wrong. But a lot of people haven't noted, don't, you know, it should be really noticeable. You know, I think the DeWalt tops out at three, 335 or 385. I can't remember. 335 or 385. And the Milwaukee's 600. I don't feel like 200 foot pounds difference, man. And again, I've, I've used this thing, man. I've sunk huge fasteners, huge lag bolts. We went down to my buddy's, uh, you know, his um, junkyard, and we were taking off all types of, um, you know, calipers and freaking lug nuts and, you know, engine blocks and uh, stuff like that. And I don't know, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But to make a long story short, they're both great. The way I look at it is, all right, I got both of them in front of me. I'm going to be at like 300 foot pounds. Which one would I grab? And I would probably grab the DeWalt. It's a little bit more compact. It, like for me, the big thing is the size of the tool. I like the smaller, the the thinner the handle, the better. And, um, you know, obviously power is important. The rigid oh, went up to 179. Oh, wait, the rigid one cent impact and drill combo. They had a great deal over Christmas too, Rigid. You got the brushless angle grinder, the brushless impact wrench, and the brushless impact driver. 269 with two 4 amp hour batteries. I put that on my channel probably three times. No one seemed interested in it. But Rick James, bitch. Oh, it's 330, Logan P. Yeah, I mean, it's almost double. But, I, again, I'm not saying that DeWalt is close in power to the Milwaukee. Don't get me wrong. But I really didn't notice too much Ricky games and stuff. Ricky games, this is a tool chat. Have you heard? Chuck Doe, get me started. John, good, lol. All right, Jason Durante, Union. Oh, cool, man. Using the Surge series. Yeah, isn't it great, Jason? Again, really has a cult following that Surge. Um, a lot of people wanted a 12 volt version of it. David Schneider. I'm truthfully then. Yeah. I'll see you later, Daniel. Ryan Jewell. Oh, thank you, 187 ICU. I appreciate that. Peace out. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming in, William Wynn. All right, Ruben. Yeah, I got it. Let me get out of here because I'll start. I'll answer another question and I'll be on here for another 15 minutes. Tools and some singing, also. That's true. Another song before Neutron. Yeah, I kind of, when you tell me that it's, it's something that has to just come out, man. Oh, you bought that 269 rigid deal, Honda? It wasn't that a killer? I think that was one of the best deals of Christmas, man. Gotta go. Yeah, I'm out of here too. Guys, I'm gonna get a coffee after this. It's 1016. Dunkin' Donuts is closed. There's this little deli, but the coffee, I'll probably make one here. I gotta get decaf though. I'm gonna be up all night, but I still yeah, I just I I suck it up. I stare at my ceiling and just wait to fall asleep. But after yap, I'm so dry. I'm so, for sitting here and talking for an hour and 20 minutes, 
I mean, I wish I can get you guys up on this screen here. You know, it's so horrible that I can't run or work a proper live stream. I know I see guys, they got they got your names coming on here and, and all kinds of stuff. But guys, again, I want to thank David Schneider, um, Redemption, 187, Ruben Kari. That means so much to me. David, seriously, hit my Instagram up, brother. I'd like to see you get something. You know, I bought these shirts for you guys, um, you know, to to enjoy, to wear. And, you know, if you're going to do send a lot of money like that, you should get something. Thank you, Augie. All right, guys. We're going to do tomorrow night, too. We're going to try to go through them all. I'm actually really liking this live stuff, man. You know, I don't have to edit. You know that stupid video I did with EJM's uh, sockets? That took me probably uh, 35, 40 minutes to do all that. When I could just go on here and yap and sing. I can sing to you, man. EJM, my colt is on the ground. Shaka Gillis. Hey, Nomo, what's up, buddy? Yo, boss, 187, want to buy it. Yeah, they're on my website, man. Um, again, there might be... Uh, I got um, pretty much every... The ice gray, I'm at a large. But everything else... I got a lot of white. I, I got to get rid of the white. The white are really good looking too, man. The white and the black really look... Oh, yeah. Great looking shirt. A lot of people bought the blue. And I'm wearing the blue one right now. I wear it. It's awesome. I love it. These shirts are great, guys. Uh, but um, I like the blue, but it doesn't, you know, the blue and the black, it doesn't, like, the white is really nice. But, all right, let me get out of here, people. God bless you all. And, you know, let's pray. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, um, you know, especially in the Middle East. I don't know what's going to be going on, man. Um, obviously, I know we don't get political here, but a lot of crazy stuff going on. So let's, um, you know, hope we don't get involved, right? That's probably about the best thing to say, but all right, guys, I'm out of here, people. Say your prayers. And if you want to have a good laugh, you can watch me try to end this live stream. Cause I, I'm not. I haven't been able to do it yet. Okay. So what I usually do is, uh, let me see. No, that wasn't the right thing to so do. What I usually do is, uh, let me see. Okay, that didn't go well. Mm-hmm. Lights out. Oh, yeah.